Hi Sarah, thanks for coming in today. So tell me a little bit about what's bothering you. Um, it's just like under my eyes, um, after like years of kind of having infections and allergies and using a certain cream under my eye, um, it sort of weakened the skin and over time I've just started to see like a bit of like a sunken look and looking a bit meh. I just want something to like refresh, mm. just to open back up my face a bit. So these areas in terms of what we call the tear trough area, yeah. so that's the number one sort of place that you want to improve a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we do have a procedure for that, as I said, tear trough filler, yeah. and it's placement of little bits of dermal filler in the, in the eye area here to improve and give you a little bit more of a refreshed and restored look. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you know about it. Um, in terms of the whole process, I'm not like that sure about everything, but I have watched a few of your videos in terms of, That's like, <laughs> yeah, of course, um, like the after results and aftercare, and they've all been quite good. And I've watched quite a few across the past year anyway, good stuff. and like researched into a little bit. And I just think it would be like the perfect thing for me. And I've always thought I do think I need some fillers like under my eye. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll have a really good result with it. You'll yeah. look a little bit less tired. Yeah. We'll improve the area, and we'll keep results looking supernatural. The procedure itself involves two injection points underneath the eye here. Yeah. Um, I pass a little blunt needle under the skin to access the area and, and inject the, the dermal filler. Yeah. By doing that way it means that we reduce the risk of swelling and the reason I don't have to inject around the side, just one injection point. Aftercare wise, don't wear any makeup today, you can with your usual skincare regime from tomorrow. Um, you can always you know, can apply makeup tomorrow is absolutely fine. Avoid sauna, sunbed, steam use, any excess exercise. For 48 hours afterwards as well. And that just means that we're reducing risk of infection, they're trying not to touch the area too. Yeah, that's They're just giving the area a good clean. Keep brush on. You're going to have a really nice result with these, even though with these little cheap creases. Well done. Well done. You did really well today. How did you yeah, find it? Really good. This side is a little bit better than this side, like in terms of pain threshold but it's not painful it's more just uncomfortable it's not like a painful thing at all and I'm actually like kind of a bit more shocked that it wasn't painful so that was good and yeah I'm really pleased Yeah. So expect results to last about six to nine months for that first mill. I normally top up tear troughs once a year. I hope that's been a really good insight into tear trough filler um, and it's given you a good idea of what to expect as well in terms of the results. So looking more natural and a little bit refreshed is the main thing. Um, any questions please pop them on the comments box below and we'll get back to you.